Tyson young as that. What was he? He was in the gas works. I suppose you were in love with this Michael Fury, Greta. I was great with him at the time. What was it he died of so young? Consumption was it? I think he died for me. So that's my list. If you don't like it, make your own. But you know, sitting here with a new decade leering around the corner and holding, like every other decade, a carrot in one hand to reward us and a sandbag in the other to wallop us, it seems to me that the cinema is in a much better state than it was ten years ago. It's a long way from perfect, God knows. It still pays too little attention to plot, characterization, and dialogue. It still talks down to an audience which it believes is unable to concentrate for more than two minutes at a time and can be fobbed off with the flash and empty techniques of the pop video. But I do believe there's a growing awareness that this must change, that an older audience will increasingly be a more demanding audience. Maybe that's just wishful thinking, though I do hope not. At least the omens are encouraging. For instance, I chose ten films as my pick of 1989, but for the first time that I can remember, I could have chosen an entirely different ten that would have been just as valid. And so, oh, hang on, if you've been paying attention, you'll have noticed that I've named only nine films in both my pick of the year and my pick of the decade. And that's because the tenth choice completes both lists. It is, to keep you in suspense no longer, Peter Greenaway's The Cook, The Thief, His Wife and Her Lover. It's a film on which there's no middle view. You either love it or you hate it. And I include it now because it's a bold, astonishing piece of filmmaking and because in its study of lust and greed and acquisitiveness, it delivers a truly savage condemnation of the me-first ethos that's been one of the most unattractive aspects of the 1980s. What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm telling a complete stranger! Intimate details about us. It's not about us. It's about me. It's about us! And what's all this? How much time you spend in that loo? And what's all this about a gynecologist? Who is he? It'd better be a she. I don't want some bloke fingering my wife about. It's a man. He's Jewish. And he's from Ethiopia. What? His mother is a Roman Catholic. He's been in prison in South Africa. He's as black as the ace of spades, and he probably drinks his own pee. Oh, oh, you you sense! You lying ungrateful bitch, you get in that car! It's a dog out for you, you bitch! Snaggy, but he's going to call it your soul! Lost it! Going to call it your soul! Get up! Get up! So there you are. Thank you, 1980s. It's been great fun, but now so long, and mind how you go. And hello, 1990s. What, I wonder, fingers crossed, have you got to offer? Well, no doubt we shall see. I'll be back on January the 9th with the first in the series of Film 90. But for now, I'll leave you with a final look at some of the movie moments of the 80s. Have a happy new year. Goodbye. I was born to make you happy. I think it's just my style. Everywhere I go, Telling everyone I know Baby, I love to see you smile Don't want to take a trip to China Don't want to sail up the night Wouldn't want to get too far From where you are Cause I love to see you smile You make it all worthwhile What would I do If I didn't have you I'd love to see you smile I'd 
love to see you smile major season of films starring Meryl Streep begins on New Year's Day with the highly acclaimed Out of Africa. Over on BBC One now, now we've half an hour of inspired lunacy in the company of Graham Chapman, John Cleese, Eric Idle, Terry Jones, Michael Palin and Terry Gilliam.